In this video, we will learn how to calculate loan repayment using simple interest. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice calculating total interest when borrowing money. Let's first talk about a couple of elements of a loan. The principal is the initial amount of money you are borrowing. Then you will be charged an interest, which is the fee you have to pay for borrowing the money. This usually comes up as an annual interest rate, which is calculated as if you are borrowing the money for 12 months. You will be using the simple interest formula, which is I equals P times R times T, where I is the interest amount, P is the initial principal amount borrowed, R is the interest rate in decimal form, and T is time in years. Let's try this example. You want to purchase a new laptop for $750 on your credit card. The annual interest rate on your card is 18% and you want to pay it all off in six monthly payments. How much will this loan cost you in interest? Let's keep the simple interest formula at the top of our workspace to refer back to. We can first identify the variables we need in the formula. We need our initial principal amount that we're borrowing, which is $750 on the credit card. For our interest rate, we need to change 18% to a decimal by moving the point over twice to the left to get 0.18. Lastly, we need time in years, which is 6 months, when divided by 12 months, is half a year. Next, we can substitute our values into the formula. To find the interest amount, we can multiply all three of our values, so we will get 750 times 0.18 times 0.5. When we multiply all of these values together, you should get 67.5. That means that the loan will cost $67.50 in interest. So why is this important? Consider this. Do you think it is better to borrow money and pay the interest or save up for the total amount and purchase the item when you have enough funds? Either answer can work depending on your situation. If you need to purchase the item in a timely manner, then borrowing the money and paying interest might be best. But if it's not something that you need to urgently purchase, it may be best to save up and buy later when you have enough funds available. Let's review how to calculate simple interest. First, you can identify your variables like the principal, interest rate, and time. Then you can substitute these values into the simple interest formula. Lastly, you can multiply all of them together to get to your final answer. Now it's your turn. Your neighbor wants to take out a loan from her credit union for $2,000. The annual interest rate on the loan is 12% and she will pay the total amount off in four months. What is the amount that she will pay in interest for this loan? Great work on calculating simple interest. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it! 